Cold water is a constant threat to the lives of those who go to sea on the northern or southern oceans. Staying dry is the first rule of survival in these latitudes, because cold water robs body heat as much as 25 times faster than air of the same temperature. Your boat is your best shelter in all but the most extreme circumstances. But abandoning ship is a contingency that even the best vessels must prepare for. Coast Guard approved immersion suits are essential for each crew member or passenger aboard vessels that operate on cold offshore waters or in cold, harsh conditions. Immersion suits are the only garments that should be regarded as primary abandoned ship devices for cold water. Only immersion suits provide sufficient levels of buoyancy and insulation for extended survival in cold, harsh conditions. Each suit should be marked with the name of your vessel. If it's your personal suit, mark it with your own name as well. Be sure you practice donning your suit before the vessel goes to sea. The suit must fit properly and form a tight seal around the face. It must be free of holes or other defects and have a free sliding zipper that is lubricated regularly with paraffin, beeswax, or another lubricant recommended by the manufacturer. It should have an inflatable pillow. The pillow helps keep your head and neck out of the water for better thermal protection and helps eliminate the fatigue of holding your head up. Inflate it every time you inspect the suit to be sure it's airtight. Each suit should be fitted with a signal light, preferably a strobe and a whistle. It should have retro-reflective tape on the head and shoulder areas. You should renew the retro-reflective tape whenever it gets worn. At least 200 square centimeters of retro-reflective tape should be visible when you're floating face up in the water. There should also be some on the back in case you're floating face down. If someone is searching for you in the dark, the retro-reflective tape will be all that's visible unless you have flares or a signal light. Preferably, your suit includes a lifting ring and a buddy cord. It's a good idea to attach personal flares, either inserted into a pocket or taped to the leg. You should also consider attaching a small e perb an emergency position indicating radio beacon. e perbs emit a signal that rescue units can use to find you. Some suits are just big coveralls, like a child's pajamas. Others may have boots, removable gloves, and other features. It's up to you to pick a model that meets the legal requirements that apply to your vessel and that works for you. It's got to fit your physique and have the features that meet your needs.